Hello. So you might have just seen a clip of me saying about this unicycle coming, you might have not, depends. If you haven't, my bedroom is now green, if you see any videos of that, you shall. But, this thing is here. Very fun. And exciting. It is my 36 inch unicycle. So, obviously I'm going to try and leave the wheel maybe to last, just to show you the size of it. But we need to get started on showing you what stuff is here. Feet. Nice, very nice. Unicycle like seat. Very, very nice. Uh, if you want to look up all the specs of this, it is unicycle practice trainer one. Um, the only I got like this is the cheapest, and I throw stuff around a lot. And I really couldn't save up for anything else. Then you've got the frame, a very nice frame, very nice. Oh, already got the heart. Amazing, I got the frame. It's already got a brake hole, which is amazing. I keep saying amazing a lot because I'm really excited. And as you can see, there's no stoppers on this one. And there is no seat pads, because they will come later. You then got the wheel. <laughs> I know I said I was going to leave this for last, but mate, this is the wheel. Then you. <laughs> After the tyre, we have a few more things. In here we have the kit. I call this a kit. I should have brought my knives out here. By knives I mean like safety, private, the box has and I have exactly knives. But obviously thinking that I'm prepared and pulled everything out of the box. This is actually the first thing video I've ever actually been able to actually actually actually. This is the first unboxing video I've ever been able to do. Not to them have a crime camera. I always get too excited just to see stuff out of the boxes. Pedals, these are really bad pedals, they're better than the uh, old unicycle pedals that we used to get. So these ones are obviously better. You have your nuts and bolts, your empty cap. You get your seat clamp, it's a really nice seat clamp. And then you get your... Oh my god, Ed Pratt's on it. That's so cool, you get your unicycle.com one. And it gives you all of the information and stuff. I didn't actually know if Ed Pratt was still on it, and he is. It also has a barcode showing the assembly instructions. That is really cool, I need to keep that. And then this is the unicycle.com tool, multi tool sort of thing. Do keep these, they're not a throwaway tool, but they are very, very strong. And you keep them. I'm sorry about like the sun coming in and out, obviously, I'm getting blinded right now, or the motorcycles and stuff. I can't help a lot of stuff. So I'm going to put those in my pocket. We're going to get started building. The first thing I'm going to do is pop the seat clamp on. So this is sometimes the hardest thing. So I'm going to have to loosen them all the way and pop them on. I actually don't know if I will be tall enough to ride this yet. So that's not going to be fun. I might have to cut the seat press down and stuff. I'll put it down as low as it will go, obviously. It can only go as low as it can go. I think I ended up actually cutting this bit down as well. It also has a barcode there, I don't know what that would be for, if anyone from like unicycle.com or anyone that knows stuff knows about that, because I, I don't have a QR code reader, I tried downloading ones on my phone to use this on. I don't think I need to put it the right way, because <laughs> I just kept trying to put it on the wrong way, and it holds it in place perfectly, so it doesn't spin. We're then going to get our seat, take off the cover which is on here, I've just taken it off, sorry about that. Now you can see how awkwardly this is. I can then put this in, just do it loosely. It's all good. And tighten it up just enough to hold it in place. Don't line it up or anything, like if it's not aligned, it's all good. Because you don't even know where the wheel is going to sit yet, so you can't put it in. Um, so you don't just tighten it up this way with your allen key, so you don't hit the bottom. And then for the top one, it doesn't matter to you. It doesn't matter to you. It depends on how high your feet is, it does not. Okay, I'm very unprepared for this video as you can tell, but obviously you'll be able to see some good videos then. This thing is my food And now we are going to... Oh, I forgot to get the inner tube out. Oh. Let's get our box. Inner tube. Inner tube, that's not the inner tube. In 
So I'm going to get this inner tube fixed. If you don't know how to do that, you can actually watch a bike video for that. Okay, we are back. I got the inner tube out. Um, my dad's going to try and have a look at it because I'm big in There's some pretty long cranks on here. Um, it's the Nimbus unicycle wheel, which is very handy because Nimbus are a very good brand. You already have rim tape in here. So all you've got to do is undo your cap, put it in. I know I said I wasn't going to show you this, maybe I still won't. Did you see in this? Well, I'll see you. And then tighten that up. And you've got to. These are very expensive, expensive inner tubes. And they stick in the tubes as well. Very wide. They won't just sit in here. You've got to like, force them to sit in here. Very obvious they're going to come out when you undo it. Very fun. So then, you're going to get your tyre, put your tyre on. It's going to be a lot of work to get tyre on. Okay. You probably won't see this clip. Especially not this one. Okay. We are back. I've got my inner tube and my Nimbus wheel and I think this is a Nimbus tyre, I don't know though, it could just be a universal kind of tyre, but it's one of the biggest tyres I've ever seen, I can tell you that's for free. Now we've got some malt shaft here, I'm not good at this. side of the tire on which is obviously just as hard as any other part. It is the Nimbus this wheel is the name bug night rider and it has some quite good tread. It's a uh, road like road tread. It's good. Anyway getting just one side of this car and it's trying to be such a problem. But I've obviously got to be so careful with this. Okay, it's angry for me. It's entirely easy to fill. Hi Lisa, got it. Put it on here and try and help. So we've got two. Ah, ah. Oh, I'm a doing that. One side is on. Okay. So one side's on. Now I need to tuck this 
really expensive, massive inner tube in here. These inner tubes can be really expensive, but at the same time they can be so cheap. But A, it depends on a few things. One is where you buy them from, and two is what company you're buying from. So if you buy from USS.com, there's one company that sells them for £20, £27. And there's another company that sells them for like twenty and they're all different prices. Um I might put I'll put on screen right now what the price what the price is of well the cheapest price in you have got comments for thirty six inch by two point two point two five is so we will find out. Obviously the inner tube's gonna pop out in certain places. The best way that I found to fix that is to don't pinch your inner tube but just start to by hand at first put the wheel with the place over it. And as I say, these are very expensive inner tubes, so you just want to make sure that you aren't by accident breaking one or more than one. Wear and tear is not too bad for inner tubes. Punctures are obviously the worst thing for an inner tube. You've already got to shove them in it. They're very difficult. They're the most difficult inner tube I've found. They're the easiest and most difficult because they're not fiddly, they're massive. But because they're massive, you've got to find room in the tyre to put them in. There we go. So my tyre leave has just gone for a walk, that's nice of it. Really put them up there so you don't pop them. Hi Mario, I'm just talking to my dog. Daniel! The silver came off. Oh, did that come as well? What I say? Just talking to my brother Daniel. What? Yeah. How to build slash review. I said for my words, so I'm going to. I'm trying to pop the inner tube that costs 20 quid. Oh, for God's sake. I need your help. Come here. You've been in the videos. Okay, can you hold this one in place while I pop this one in? Hi there, guys. It's me. Can we just find another tie lever? Do you take your ones open? No, I don't. Do you take your ones? It should be in one of the tool bags. Look in the one that looks completely full to the brim. The amount of tie levers, I can't try to do this. Um, please don't use metal ones if you can help it. Yes, I like saving the environment, they're reusable. It's also reducible. But these pants, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. If you met one pants, it's okay, it's not the end of the world. But if met one won't snap, it'll just pop your inner tube, it will pop your rim. So I'm just going to go and find the other, at least one other one for me. Okay. I'm going to go and find another one for me. <laughs> So I know I said not to use metal ones, but we only found a metal one. So I obviously know how to use metal ones, but I'll pop them under the inner tube. 
But I'll give you a new thing you want. A noob just needs your name. Doesn't mean you're bad. Oh no. But people say, oh, you noob, you You've put tires on before. Have I? Yeah. Have I, though? Yeah. I don't know how to tell you how else to get the wear on very well. Stretch it a lot. Um, people heat them up and stuff. That's about all I can tell you though. Oh my god, this thing's massive. Massive, I tell you. So we'll have to get these on. Funner. Funner. I love that word. More funner. More funner. So, to do this, I'm going to get a cardboard sheet out. Another cardboard sheet. We've got it. The first thing we've got to do is put our box on the floor. Sorry, guys. Put this on our cardboard. It's very messy. Okay. Open our screws. Take them into our hand. Um, we might have extra, I don't know. We do not, which is fine. Oh, we do, we have two extra. This is handy. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I forgot that only two went in each. There's like four going each. Why have I not got four? There's like four going each. Why have I not got eight? But it's all good. I'll just move it down. So we've got two on, two left on the floor, obviously because we've got spares, it's not too bad. That's a worry as well. Do your massive wheel. You have two complete sets of spares. And people like me who will lose stuff. So these are the undoable boat bolts, as we call them. They're the locking bolts, they're the plastic on the inside, which obviously make them really hard to take on and off. I can't remember if they just don't rattle off, they're just really hard to take off. I'm pretty sure they don't, but I know that they don't rattle off. Oh, that's their design. But I don't know if that's their own. I can't remember if they just don't that long or they're also really hard to take off. Alright, you know why you'd want that function. Right, because you not you don't want to wiggle off.
We've got handy dandy tool. I do have like actual sockets and stuff. I might have to get out. Get a tool because I have got one. I don't want to be spending all my time making it and all my time trying to do it. Socket that's already small and really handy dandy. Um, and I just do like uh, Almost. I was getting the size when I was out there because I didn't read what the size was online. It's probably a 10 like my other unicycle. This is a 9. It's a 10 like my other unicycle. and pump the wheel up. But I can do pump the wheel up with the camera because I want to pump the wheel up and if I don't I actually want to get you some help. <laughs> 